Tafsir in the Quran in Surah Al-An'am to Prophet Muhammad. He say, say, kul, say. Surely my prayer, my sacrifice, my living and my dying are all for Allah, the Lord of the worlds. No partner for him and that's what I'm commanded the first among those who are Muslim in, means those who are submitting to the command of Allah. Today is the second of Zulajja, uh, second of Muharram, sorry. The Zulajja was the last month, which is the month of the Hajj. And there was a one day, which is Yomul Eid, the Yomul Eid al Adha, which was 10th of Zulajja. 10th, uh, the 10th day of Zulajja was Eid al Adha. And that day was a day of sacrifice. But the sacrifice was Prophet Ibrahim supposed to give to his son Ismail to sacrifice. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala changed it to the sheep. So we follow the tradition. So all around the world, the Muslims were slaughtering the animals for festival, for Eid. But today, this month, the Muharram, the next month, which is the first month of Islamic calendar, the Zulajah was the last month, the 12th month. And on the 10th day was the day of sacrifice. But the sacrifice was changed it to sheep, to the animal. And that becomes our feast. That becomes our Eid. But this month, the first month of Islamic calendar, the Muharram, the, on the, again on the 10th of the day, that is again the day of sacrifice. But that day, that day the sacrifice was accepted. And who is the sacrifice? That time is still the grand-grandson of Prophet Ibrahim. Means the grandson of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Because Prophet Muhammad is coming from Ismail. And uh, Prophet Ismail was supposed to be sacrificed on the 10th of Zulajah by his father, Prophet Ibrahim. But the uh, sacrifice was changed to sheep. <clears throat> but on this month in Muharram, on the 10th of Muharram, the sacrifice is Hussein, the grandson of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. His grandson was sacrificed on this day. And why he was sacrificed? It's a very great reason. It's a very great reason that a grandson of Prophet Muhammad was sacrificed. He was sacrificed on that day. You come back. <clears throat> And that is a great story. Last, uh, the next few days, <coughs> we are going to mention this story again and again because we have a great lesson here. The lesson here, never to surrender to the evil. Never, never to surrender to the injustice. And never to surrender to wrong. But always stand for the right. And the grandson of Prophet Muhammad, وسلم, his grandson, Hussein, may Allah please be with him, that he did not surrender to the injustice. And what was the injustice? It was a monarchy. That there was a ruler who take control of the Khilafah by, the, by his inheritance from his father, which, whose name was Yazid. <clears throat> and he is rejected to give place to his uh, rule because it's against Islam. And even, the, even for that reason, he was, all his uh, male family members were slaughtered during the war in Karbala. And he himself was given his life for the sake of Allah, but not to surrender to the evil, not to surrender to the evil cause, but accepted the uh, right, stand for the right, and he given his life. All his family, male members were slaughtered and sacrificed on that day on Yom Ashura, and his uh, family members of his female family members, like his wives and his daughters and his sisters, uh, they were become captives. They were become captives. But he did not uh, surrender to the evil. He did not surrender to the injustice. And he did not surrender to the wrong. He, Imam Hussein, anhu, and all his male members, except only one of his sons was survived, whose name was Ali also, but uh, name known as Imam Zainul Abidin. And from his generation, the uh, Imam Hussein's uh, generation was continued. And that is also the generation of Prophet Muhammad also. Because Prophet Muhammad, sallam, all his male children were died. Only his daughter, the Fatima, was survived. And from Fatima, the Hussein was continuous generation through his son, Imam Zainul Abidin. And that, that generation is still continued. And we are also his generation spiritually. So physically, his generation came from Hussein. And spiritually, we are all the believers. We all Muslims are uh, considered as Ali Muhammad, the, the generation of Muhammad spiritually. Because the, the generation not just go by the uh, physical or bodily or biological, but the generation also could go also through the idea with the message and with the mission. So we are his generation also through his message, through his mission, through his uh, tradition. <clears throat> if you're going to read this story, 
then we can conclude that that uh, in the human history there was nothing greater uh, sacrifice than this the sacrifice on the 10th of muharram which is a uh, day of sacrifice on uh, not tomorrow saturday but next saturday and then uh, we were recommended to make fast on that day even though the uh, martyr martyrdom was not happened during the time of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but he already told us to fasting on that day why because there are many things happen on that day like prophet musa alaihi wasallam was saved by allah from firaun passed through the red sea and uh, prophet adam was forgiven on that day also when he got mistake in the paradise uh, prophet ayu was uh, get cured on that day the his sickness and prophet yunus when he was in the fish belly then he came out on that day so so many things happen on that day on the day of ashura the 10th of muharram and the, but the greatest thing happen on that day is the greatest sacrifice of all time there yeah, the man is stand up against evil he sacrifice all his family and finally himself but he never surrender to the evil and he give the example uh, we have a uh, some comment from a uh, uh, one great leader from uh, in this modern history his name was nelson mandela from south africa who who fight against the unjust rule of british in uh, south africa because the british was ruling south africa which is the uh, land for the african people and they were getting benefits from there then this nelson mandela he stand up against the unjust rule of british and finally he was uh, locked up in robin island for 25 years and he was given the power force uh, by the british to surrender to the british rule but he was not surrendering for 25 years and he said one day he wanted to surrender to his uh, to the british rule he wanted to give up and he said that that night the that night that night uh, the prophet uh, uh, the the he remembered the prophet's grandson story can can come inside so the prophet uh, prophet's grandson story the nelson mandela he recalled when he was about to surrender after this long period of time in the robin island in a prison now he wanted to give up on that night he thought i will give uh, i will give up to the tomorrow morning i will not be uh, going to fight against this injustice rule of british so he wanted to give away he want to give up his mission and he said i remember the hussein that night that how he was not just one but all his family and he slaughtered and all the rest of his female family female members were captive and he and his all female members were slaughtered and sacrificed except only one so he remembered this great sacrifice that he did not uh, surrender to the injustice rule of uh, that time so why should i surrender to the injustice rule so that nelson mandela he, he was inspired with the story of the imam hussein and he did not surrender then finally what happened the british was uh, free their country the south africa was got freed and then he became the president of south africa so he he was saying about the the great sacrifice of uh, imam hussein that how that story inspired him so that, that's very important for us to uh, to repeat in these days to get this uh, great lesson of sacrifice for the sake of allah which is the mission of our life may allah give us uh, understanding and give us uh, power that we can follow the right way of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala amin alhamdulillah rabbil alamin allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said say surely my prayer my sacrifice and my sacrifice and my living and my dying are all for allah so we are giving all our prayers our charities our good deeds are for allah and all our sacrifice for allah and our living for allah and our dying for allah so we don't have any other mission no no any community or any people or any system rather our mission is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we want to live and die for allah we want to do everything for allah because allah has given us a life so we want to do every good for allah and not for anyone else and the greatest example in human history in the all the human history even the from adam alayhi salam until the today we cannot get this kind of example with hussein given the example the grandson of prophet muhammad the imam hussein radiyallahu anhu what is a great example he give he can just say one single word just single word to save his family himself and his family what single word okay i surrender to yazid i accept this uh, rule but he know that is injustice rule because in islam the father cannot be inherited his children the power this against islam that's called monarchism monarchism monarchist father is not going to inherit the rule of the rule to his children his uh, wealth he can inherit to the children the children can inherit the father's wealth but not his rule 
not the rule. Rule should be according to the will of the believers. They choose the best among them uh, who is according to Quran and according to Sunnah. The best among them with abilities, with uh, ruling abilities and with st a strong person and good decision maker and etc. So that, that was uh, today the people are talking about this in Europe, America, that the people uh, should choose the right leader. But that was uh, before 1,400 years ago, the Hussein gave the example that we are not allowing the kingdoms and we are not allowing the monarchists. So he fight against the monarchists as the first great example in the human history and he gave up his life and all the children, all the brothers and friends and relatives, except only one of his sons, the Ali, the Zainul Abidin, because his son's name was Ali also. Ali Asghar, Ali Akbar, and the Imam Zainul Abidin, his name was Ali also. Because he loved his father very much, so he gave uh, the name of his father to his children and name of his mother to his children also, to his daughters also. So when he gave him his life, and then the Allah uh, uh, punished to the ruler, because he also killed the family of the Prophet Muhammad, and he also uh, gave uh, attack on Medina, the holy city of Medina, and the Makkah also, the Kaaba he attacked also. Then finally, Allah punished him. His, his son took, took over, but his son uh, kicked the rule. He said, I don't like the rule because it has the blood of the Prophet family, the family of the Prophet. And then it was uh, uh, the other rulers came, and finally there was another Khalifa, the righteous Khalifa came, the Omar bin Abdul Aziz, and then it was a great uh, rule that time. And then this Khalifah goes, goes on until the Ottoman Empire in Turkey, which was just finished in 1916. And we are hoping that the Khalifah should come back, so all the Muslim uh, in the world will be united and not be scattered anymore. So may Allah guide us, may Allah give us ability that we can bring back the Khilafah to unite all the Muslims under the rule of Quran and under the view of the Prophet.